guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I did a poll on Twitter asking you whether you wanted me to talk about this and you guys said yes, hence why I'm talking about it. This is also my time to plug, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram because yeah, a lot of my content comes from there, like you can contact me there and vote there whatever. So, Trisha Paytas and Nikocado Avocado. So, if you don't know what happened, essentially what happened is this. Nikocado Avocado, who is a mukbang channel, pretty much exposed Trisha Paytas for shitty behavior. Trisha kind of responded, and I'll put in the clips, but I'm giving you the TLDR so when I put in the clips you actually know what you're looking at. He essentially showed DMs between the two of them that proved that they were supposed to collab at one point, and they agreed upon a day, and then she kind of went MIA. And then Nikocado uh, actually bought tickets to go to LA and she pretty much ghosted him and never responded to him. They're here. This is really her. If you click on her face, that's her. All right, so let me just read you and I'm gonna also flash it on the screen. Okay, so I said, I'm so happy you liked my video. I live in Columbia, South America, because she asked a collab. I said, I live in Columbia, South America, but I could definitely fly to LA to see you because my visa runs out in, in a few weeks. So if you don't know anything about me, I used to live in Columbia, my husband's Colombian. Every couple months I had to leave, go on American soil and come back. So I was constantly having to travel regardless of what was happening. So I told her this was perfect timing, not to leave anyway. And then she said, oh my God, oh my God, what? Are you Colombian? I, didn't, I don't understand, LOL. You look American AF, ha 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 ha. Honestly, let's do it. Your cover of Warrior was so fucking crazy amazing. I was like so fucking impressed and honored and humbled. I've been watching you for a few months. I just adore you. And I said, my boyfriend is Colombian. This is before we got married. My boyfriend is Colombian and I'm American and I live here because of him. Oh, thank you so much. Would you want to collab as soon as next week? I don't know if you've seen my videos about not wanting to be vegan anymore, but it would be so fun to eat something non-vegan with you. She responded, hell yeah. Actually, I'm pretty free next week. What day are you thinking? I said, I'm free all next week too. I just do YouTube, that's it, super flexible. So you can pick the day, I'm looking at flights now. So I let her know, I'm flying. I said, I'm looking at the flights. I let her know, are you available? And she says, I'm free all week. And I said, I've never been to California before. The best flight deal is Tuesday the 17th. Then she responds, I can make that work. Should we do a two day shoot? Like maybe vegan food on mine with you and non-vegan shit on yours. Or just stuff ourselves in one city. Ha ha ha. I'm like, that sounds great. Oh my god, this is legit happening. That's the last time I ever heard from her ever again until today. And he kind of felt bad because she then started talking badly about him as if something had happened, but he didn't know what happened because literally she just stopped answering his DMs. There was no fight or anything, so he wanted closure, but she wouldn't answer his DMs so he couldn't get closure. And so that made him upset, left a bad taste in his mouth. I'm sure he felt pretty sad considering that his, you know, like someone he idolized on YouTube just kind of didn't give a shit. He then shows clips that I'm gonna show you in a second where Trisha Paytas just talks about him in a really belittling way. Like she'll say that she doesn't know him. She lies and says that they've never spoken before. Okay, this is editing me. An important thing I forgot to mention is that when she showed their DMs, she erased her DMs. So he looked crazy because it was just like message upon message from him when in reality they had an exchange. She mentions his weight gain and I don't know if I really like the tone in which she says it, but people are always a little touchy about weight, so I'm not gonna say that she was making fun of him necessarily, but she brought it up multiple times, which I think is a weird thing to bring up if you're claiming you don't know someone but you wanna talk about their weight gain. I don't know. I was never going to, like, I don't know. I was never going to, like, I wasn't gonna, like, collab, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know where that came from. Nikocado, avocado, jato, or whatever. Oh, yeah. And I was like, they were all like, Trisha ghosted him. I was like, Trisha didn't even know that he was coming. We no about. idea. Nikata or I don't even know. I was like, what? Like, the only time I heard of him was when he did my Warrior cover. 
Yeah. He, he played on the violin or something. I didn't know. I didn't even see the messages. I tried to watch Nakato Avocado, but I can't when someone. The only time I heard of him was when he did my Warrior. I tried to watch Nakato Avocado, but I can't when someone. Yeah, I don't care for his videos or for his personality. The only time I heard of him was when he did my Warrior. The only time I heard of him was when he did my Warrior. The only time I heard of him was when he did my Warrior. What happened between you and Nakato Avocado? Everyone always asks this. This is so gross. It makes me not even want to eat. Like when someone like. Burps. I never once said this is the day I'm free like come out. I never once said this is the day I'm free like come out I never asked someone to come out. Yeah, I don't care for his videos or for his personality But you know whatever it doesn't matter what happened between you and Nikata avocado Everyone always asks this I I never once said this is the day I'm free like come out like look if someone comes to LA And I have time I love to hang out with them, but she did tell me she was free She said she was free basically all week she even told me Tuesday would work. And if she has time, she's like, I'm more than happy to hang out. I was there for like five or six days. She ignored me, never talked to me again, and then started leaking out my messages edited to make me look like an idiot. I never asked someone to come out. I'm never like, fly out, um, we'll hang out this day and we'll for sure collab. Like, no, I tell everybody what I say to everybody. I'm like, I'm busy. But she didn't tell me she was busy. I just get pissed when people are like, she flaked on me, she blew me off of you. Look, I never even opened his messages. And I saw I had like literally like 50 DMs from him that I never saw. She responded to them. What do you mean she never opened them? She responded to them. I mean, I don't talk shit on YouTubers, but that like was so... Like, it was just, it was, it was weird. I was like... If I didn't respond to someone or I didn't confirm a date, I would not be booking. I don't know where he lives. Apparently, he lives somewhere else. Anyways. But she does know that I was flying there because I told her I was already booking regardless for my visa. She does know that I don't live there because she asked about it and I responded, yes, I do live in Colombia. Trisha made a video then talking about why she's like canceled or whatever and obviously she refers to a few scandals that she's been in. There's been one with H3. H3. Then there's the one with Nikocado, which is the one that people really wanted her to address. They were commenting under her pictures with avocado emojis, and they were really just pressing on her to say something, you know, like respond. So in her video, she responds, and honestly, I really don't like how she responded. I'll just show you and then tell you why. I think this is a guy who has videos of him like literally waving a knife around, like threatening his husband, like. Probably don't meet up with people waving a knife, threatening their significant other. You know, you know what I mean? Like, kind of just be smart in situations. There was also a lot of other videos that people had thrown my way after I, like, publicly tweeted that I was going to collab with them. Like, uh, watch this. This is, guys, you know, he's looking He's looking at tickets now on, on January 10th. And I haven't responded because I'm like, you know, at this point, you know, here's the thing. People have come to, this, God, this is, if this is my problematic scandal, then okay, so be it. People have come to LA all the time. I have reached out to people. I have freaking gone to collab with people and they just, they just don't respond, you know, they don't respond. And you know what? It does kind of suck. And I've always admitted to this that I'm like, I'm just not good at communicating like back to people. Um, but there are countless people that I said they're going to be out here in LA that I'm like, yeah, let's meet up. And then like the time comes, they text a couple times. If I don't respond, they just let it go. Right. Right. The, this kid also at the time said that I paid for his first class tickets to come see me. Um, so he's, he's saying, I'm looking at tickets now. Can you please let me know which days are free for you as we can better? I'm not responding because I'm 40. And then I, I third Tuesday, and what part of LA? Sorry for all the questions. So I'm not responding because I'm like, at this point, people are sending me videos of him and I just, I don't feel comfortable. We're going to, we're going to just not harass. That's what we're not going to do. We're just not going to keep harassing, which this person is doing again by making countless videos. And I'm just like, okay, well, that's what we're not going to do. And him editing the you clip where I literally straight up said, like he gained weight. So what? I freaking gain weight too. That's what happens as a mukbanger. You get fat. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I said that. I said that to the person. I'm like, so what? And he cut that part out. I was like, you know what I mean? So for all these people, I watched this a little bit of that. I, I never even heard of I never, but apparently he's he's popping or popular. And to be like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of crappy. Like, tickets cost money. Yeah. He, he literally said on the 10th, good morning. Looking at tickets now. Can you please let me know which days are free? If you don't respond and you're coming strictly for me to collab and I'm not responding, I'm not going to book that ticket. I'm here in LA. I'm here in Hollywood. I brought you gifts. I hope you get back to me. No response. Two days later. Hey girl, is everything okay? A day later. Did I do something wrong? If this is the kind of behavior that legitimately scares me, it, it starts freaking me out. It really, 
I'm like panicking at this point. So like if there was any even thing like I was like, okay, hey, I've been going through this breakup. Like I just, you know, or I saw this video that made me a little uncomfortable about you or I just don't want to be used. It feels, you know, I'm really like iffy about collabs. At this point, I'm like, oh my God, this is the behavior that I'm like, mm -mm, no, 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 no. This is, yeah, I've had, I've had a few internet harassers that have actually, it's like legitimate harassing where it comes to the point at like my live shows, I literally give people like pictures and like, I'm literally like, do not let these people in. These are their names. Like if they book tickets, like if they book it under a fake name, do not let them in. Like I'm, I'm on it. You know what I mean? There's like maybe a handful of people actually that I'm just, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm legit scared. And I, yeah, I don't talk and I don't address these issues because you know, for the most part, probably people are seeing, but also I've seen footage of a, a girl that I once knew, like go to someone's work and trying to beat her at like, do you know what I mean? I get scared. And, and, and you have every right. And and him in particular, I reached, you know, I had reached out to my lawyers. And he, you know, if he lives in a foreign country, it's so hard. Like, I was like, is there something to, like, just kind of protect me from this person? Like, he, he's made three videos now. And it's like, okay. I agree with some of what Trisha says. And to be noted, I don't really watch either of these channels. Like, I don't really watch Mukbang channels, so I don't watch Nick Akato. Trisha, I maybe sometimes watch her like in the background if I have nothing to watch to have kind of like noise, but I'm not, you know, like invested in either of these channels really. But the way she discussed Nick Akato was kind of disgusting to me because first of all, she claimed you don't owe anyone a collaboration and you don't owe anyone an answer. Like if people ghost you, it's fine, which, you know, like I agree with to an extent in the sense that if someone goes to you, it's shitty, but people don't always owe you an answer, which is true. However, I do think that a big part of being a decent human being is answering someone and communicating. So if she was no longer down to collab, it would have been just as simple as to say, hey, I don't think it's going to work out. Um, maybe some other time, but whatever. You know, like it, you don't even have to have a confrontation with someone and explain why. You can just say, hey, like, I don't think it's going to work sorry, maybe we'll do it some other time. Done. You could just say that and you would have been done. Nick Akato had already bought his ticket, which I do think he jumped the gun in buying the ticket because she did not respond after the day they chose to meet up. So like, if someone didn't respond to me, I wouldn't jump the gun and buy the ticket, which that, you know, like I'll say was a lack of judgment, but he addresses it himself saying, yeah, he jumped the gun with that. And he has a second video, which is pretty much reminiscent of the first one to me. It just addresses what she said in her video. She starts to say that the reason why she didn't want to collab with him was because there was a video of where he's holding like a knife in the th in the thumbnail or something and that she thought that he was dangerous and she kind of painted him as this like crazy person who is super dangerous and you know aggressive and violent because of the thumbnail with the knife which you know like I completely understand the idea of meeting up with someone and you not knowing what you were getting into and taking safety precautions, like not meeting at your house and meeting at a public place first to, to gauge who it is you're dealing with, you know? So I understand being a little bit paranoid. That's, that's okay. But she went too far in that she really painted him as this like, crazy ass fan who was blowing up her phone for no apparent reason when the reality is he just wanted an answer as to why you ghosted him when you said that you adored him loved his content and whatever so he's not crazy but she painted him that way which i think is so ironic because i feel like trisha could easily be painted as crazy in the same way. There are plenty of thumbnails of Trisha's where we could say she's mentally unstable because she's crying on the kitchen floor, but that's not really fair because that's just, just a blanket statement. That's, that's oversimplifying things, right? So she really didn't take any responsibility, which I didn't like whatsoever. And I know that she's done this in the past. I'm only talking about this specific event because like I said, I don't follow Trisha that closely. I did for this particular case, but not in the past. But overall feel like Trisha gets way too many passes. Like people say she's a troll and that's okay, fine. She's a troll, you know, like there are videos where she's clearly trolling, you know, and it's obvious she's, she's defaming someone by like making them sound like they're some crazy killer or something, which she kind of does in her video. D does that mean she gets a pass because she's trolling? Not in my book. I don't know Nick Akato. I don't know anything about him, but to portray someone like that online with no proof or evidence, just because you saw a thumbnail 
and because they asked you for a reason why, I feel like that's really disgusting behavior. If you're claiming you don't know someone and you don't want them in your house, then how would you even know that they're crazy? How can you talk about them like that without knowing anything? I don't know, it just seems ridiculous to me. I don't understand why that's acceptable, like whether you're a troll or not. I feel like it would be so easy to just take accountability here too, to just be like, hey, I fucked up. Tell Nick Mikado you shouldn't have ghosted him, shouldn't have spoken about him in the way you did and move on, like it is that easy. There's no need to find a reason why you're right. And that's another thing that bothers me because she knows people will give her a pass because she's a troll, so she never has to take responsibility. And I'm not here for that. I think that's really shitty. It's a shit show and I just don't understand why nobody ever seems to call her out. Siren Cove made a video about it that I'll link in the description below uh, on this same topic and you should definitely check it out. Anyway, let me know your opinion. If you're a Trisha fan, if you're not a Trisha fan, let me know what you think. Do you think she should be called out? Do you think she gets too many passes? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and let's get right into the fan art. <laughs>